What's good, people? Uncle Hotep back at it again. How you doing? Happy Monday. I know I didn't stream last night, but I, I uh, you know, it was holiday weekend. Um, I, I'm gonna stream tonight. Get back on the groove. So, the Sunday is Monday. The Monday is Sunday. I really get on uh, social media last night. You know, watch the movies. I watched. Uh, there was a movie with Fifty Cent. Was a, a was a pimp. In Alaska, <laughs> it was like a real uh, serial killer movie. It was uh, Kuzak and um, Cage, Nick Cage. Uh, uh, anyway, I was watching that last night. But anyway, I wake up this morning and Cardi B and Candace Owens beefing. <laughs> now, if you want to know about the state of American politics, American news, you know, um, you know, I, I went up, I got up, and I was like, let me Google. Let me see what the mainstream media is covering. Is it, how are they covering this? Oh, yes, they are. Of course they are. Now look at this. Newsweek. <laughs> how is Newsweek covering a, a Twitter argument, argument between Candace Owens and Cardi B? See people to YouTube, The Sun, RT, <laughs> Complex, uh, Rio, Source, MSN. Let me go to the next page. I didn't even go to the next page. Let's see what's happening. Yahoo, BET, of course, Hollywood Life, Billboard. On and on and on. <laughs> Owen's liking Biden doing an interview with WAP rapper to, you know, Cardi is, is, is you know, that song, uh, wet ass Punani <laughs> pussy. Uh, it's still, I think it's still number one. <laughs> to Donald Trump being interviewed by Justin Bieber and went on to say that the former vice president thinks black people are stupid. You know, Candace is saying, you know, um, why is Biden giving her uh, a platform? Because you know that a couple of weeks ago, uh, Cardi B sat down with Joe Biden. Now, this is just the Democratic, uh, uh, their plan, their blueprint, their their game plan, you know, of how to reach the African-American, the Akata to shine audience, you know, throw some Cardi B out there. You know, she's, you know, the number one female rapper out. Number one hit song out, you know, in the shine love dancing and jigging <laughs> in hip hop music, right? Now I go over to Kali and uh, you know, let's just listen to a little bit of Cardi B's response. Uh, you know, uh, this is interesting part I I, I listen to here. Okay, so I saw your life, and like I said, this is gonna be the last time responding to you. You've been antagonizing me for years. And you claim that you antagonize me because I stick my nose in politics. Because a, a woman like me that... Politics. <laughs> ...pay taxes, that live in a country that continuously see injustice, have a fucking voice. That bothers you so much. Everybody can have a fucking voice. Are you going to are you gonna call me a teenager that has a voice too? That is a good point. You know, um, everybody should have a voice. But I think the the ammo should be slung at Joe Biden for thinking, you know, this is the most important voice voice to reach out to. You know, it's Joe Biden's fault, not not Cardi B's fault that she's hot. You know what I'm saying? Um, it is what it is. At the end of the day, Candace, you've been trying to fucking sit down with me for like a year. You've been offering me two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Candace Owens. Now, this is the thing I, I find crazy. 
you know, Candace is going to slander Joe Biden for sitting down with Cardi B, but they're going to offer Cardi B 250 grand to sit down and have a discussion for her, you know, uh, probably on her Prager podcast. Candace is still ducking the hot tips, by the way. <laughs> like is Candace is 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 Cardi B a more important sit down than than the the hot tips? Hmm. See, this is the this is the the okey doke Candace is out here doing. You know, she know damn well her and a sit down with Can, uh, with uh, Cardi B is is will open her up to millions of uh, views listens. She ain't gonna turn that down. She even offered money because she knows she's gonna get a return on that investment. Prayer you or whoever is uh ha- whoever budget is she's working off of. But you can't slander Joe Biden for sitting down with Cardi B when you want to sit down with Cardi B. Like damn, like I, like if I was in Candace's position, I wouldn't be. You know, I would be trying to do different things. You know. Uh, She's just trying to increase her brand, you know. Uh, at a certain point, you'd be like, "Hey, man, I'm, I'm going to make some real change out here. Talk to some real people out here. Um, I'm not being talking political stuff and then going to bring a rapper on. Rappers are the last one, especially Cardi. Uh, I'm not saying there's so, um, none of the rappers could have this type of conversation. There's a few out there, but they're few and far between. They're not as many as as you think." You know, um, have somebody with some intellect. No jokes intended. Anybody that justifies the death of George Floyd, I don't want to talk to. I don't fuck with. Your GoFundMe account got suspended because of the nasty shit that you were saying and justifying the death of George Floyd. I will never. You can never sit with me. I don't care. You're talking about why I hate Trump. Um, I'm just like every other fucking black person, every Hispanic person out there that we're blind, that we are told to hate Trump. We're not told to hate Trump. Trump has showed his ass to us so many times. You know how many times he had the opportunity to show us that he's a human. Because me, I don't even think that Trump is a human. I think he's an evil person. He reminds me of Patton. Oh, fucking Spongebob, bitch. What the hell is planted from Spongebob? <laughs> That's another thing I, I never understand. I never understand Spongebob. Like, how did that get hot? How? <laughs> like, it's usually, I think it was the generation, um, People that they're in their mid thirties now, like they are the ones that put SpongeBob on. Like for what? Why? <laughs> I never got. I like, you know, it was. I mean, I was old head by then. You know, in my when SpongeBob first came out, I guess I was in. I was probably in my middle thirties or something like that. But I'm like, like, why, why, why are y'all watching this? But anyway. And there were adults. You know, my thing about it, there were adults that were watching it. It wasn't just kids. You know, um, like, it was a kid's show, but adults watched it. I didn't get it. Like, I didn't get it at all. Excuse me. I got a fresh, you know what I mean? Get my, my thing right. Back to the to the vids. Every time, this man, I saw so much evilness. He's dangerous to this country. Joe Biden wasn't my first pick. I would rather fucking the pizza pizza man fucking be the president at this point. I don't know what type of conflict we got with China right now. But you insulting the whole country, China and everything, just calling China virus and shit. Why would you do that to a country that got missiles and we got billions of dollars to? That's not you how you saw shit. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> You know, I, and that's, I mean, she makes a good point about that. You got to be careful what you ask for. I know a lot of y'all will say, you know, we can squash China, 
um, militarily, I don't think it'd be easy. Uh, and it wouldn't be a walk in the park <laughs> and is it and owe money to you know the world's economy is like is dependent on china now be careful what we wish for with that back to the music i, 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 I saw beef in a different way i don't want to violate people i'm a grown-ass woman and i got a lot to lose so I'm gonna watch my mouth. I gotta watch her, my action. He's a president. He gotta watch his action. He killed a very important figure from Iran, and you bloating and 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 gaggling about it and shit. I don't know what that man did, but it's dangerous to not pay respect to the dead. No matter what he did, that could start another war. And the way he gloated about it. While we was looting, Trump had a chance, Trump had a chance to, to fucking do speeches and say, you know what, I do understand why America's upset. I do understand why you guys are upset at the police. Let's, let's find a solution. He had a chance to do that. But you know what, instead of what, 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 what bothered Trump, Black Lives Matter painted in the street in Fifth Ave. I'm, Bitches, people don't hate Trump because they're told to, we're told to hate Trump. It's because he showed his ass too many times. Now, you know what? That's probably true. But my thing is, I don't understand why, you know, and this is why I say about Americans, you know, a lot of Americans would have preferred the Obama lie than the, the outspokenness of Trump, the forwardness of Trump. Um, they're just not ready for that. You know, I, I don't, I don't get that. That's the thing I don't get. You know, I don't think Trump has done anything different than any of the other previous presidents. Um, as far as, as far as foreign policy, I think he's been a lot more constrained and, you know, he actually tried to achieve, um, you know, I want to say isolationism, but trying to pull our troops back. He's the only one. I've seen removing, you know, removing troops from Germany, Afghanistan, um, you know, other than Syria, which uh, it looks like um, the real estate agents are involved. He's been trying to pull us back. It's just that he's he's a little bit honest, more honest than uh, well. <laughs> he's a little bit more honest than the previous presidents. You know, Obama's Syrian policy was as, was outright lies. It was just as big a lies as, you know, Bush Jr.'s lies on um, Iraq. Moderate, moderate opposition forces. This is what Obama says. And meanwhile, the moderate opposition forces are, are, are cutting people's heads off in, in, uh, outside Damascus. And we're giving guns to them. Americans want the beautiful lie. They they can't, you know, this, like, like what she's saying, yeah, is true. But it, it's like, why? We show our ass doing anything else. You, you're just afraid. You're, you're just mad that he's doing it. You just want to be, they want people. So a lot of people want Trump, a president that's quote unquote presidential. I don't know. what They just lie to you all day. He or she. It might be Kamala. <laughs> Let me go back to this trash. During the, 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 the pandemic, the person that we needed to hear the most was Trump. Why? Because he's our leader. And we don't know nothing about this fucking uh, pandemic, this fucking sickness. And this, well, this one thing, you can't blame on Trump. Man. Like this pandemic, I don't know why people are blaming it on him. They can't see what it's being used for. Um, it it's, it should be embarrassing. Like, why we... <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is, this is, this is too much. I'm, I'm not playing any more of this. <laughs> um, I should play some of Candace's straw. Will it play? Oh, here, here she go. Here go, here go the black queen herself. 
It's only right I play. So this might be a long video. God darn. That is up Instagram. I'm going live on Instagram. This is the second time I've ever gone live on Instagram, but I just felt like I really wanted to clear the air on this Cardi B nonsense. Um, so first and foremost, Cardi, I watched your story and it sounds very funny. Um, first off, <laughs> I'm saying it's funny because you just it's just ridiculous to me that you even take anything that I said as offensive when I'm telling you the truth. Um, and I think if anything, you're only upset because people are telling you on Twitter that you got dragged because you did get dragged because you are uneducated when it comes to politics. That's first things first. Um, I was not, I'm sure Ben Shapiro was not, we were not meaning to attack you. We're just simply telling the truth, which is the fact that Joe Biden did not spend the whole year in his basement to come up because he's a big Cardi B fan and sit down with you. He thinks you're an idiot. And, you know, I just am encouraging you to stop proving him right when you say ridiculous things like I had to sit down with Joe Biden because my sister got attacked by a Trump supporter, Santa Claus, making it seem like Trump supporters are homophobic. A little education for you, Cardi B. Uh, Donald J. Trump is the first president that's ever gone into office in support of gay marriage. So, you know, those eight years that your presidential candidate Joe Biden spent um, as a vice president with Obama, they didn't... Who really cares? My God. <laughs> I never seen something I'm not even gonna talk about. Let's let's continue. Support gay marriage going into office. Obama changed his tune on gay marriage in his um second term. So the whole idea of Trump being a homophobe is a bit pointedly ridiculous and shows how uneducated you are. Then you came and you were talking about ta raising your taxes when you were on talking to Joe Biden saying that you want your taxes lowered, but at the same time you want universal health care. That's ignorant and stupid. And Joe Biden knows it's ignorant and stupid. Even I will say you probably can achieve that if you, <laughs> if we downplay, I mean, downgrade our, our, our military budget, our overbloated military budget. There's probably money there, but you know, the military industrial complex, but blah, blah, blah. That should be the conversation. Um, you know, Americans should be having like we spend too far too much on a military budget to do what help the <laughs> even all the people that want free health care and universal health care acknowledge that tax rates have to be astronomical to be able to support that so you're talking about a 74 percent tax rate you continually keep saying you have a number one song. It means shit. Nobody cares about a song about your wet ass pussy. Excuse my language for my followers. Um, being, num being number one, I have a number one song in the UK. I have a number one song in Australia. I have a number one song in New Zealand. That has nothing to do with black America and whether or not you are helping or hurting. Right now, you are hurting black America. Okay, when you stand on a platform and you pretend to care about black men, when you ask Joe Biden, what are we going to do about these black men dying? He should have asked you back, what are black men going to do about black men dying? Because 94% of black men are killed by other black men. See, this is my point. It's your anger should be, <laughs> she should be targeting this towards Biden, not towards Cardi. Like Cardi's allowed to ask that question, but his answer was, was insufficient. It's, it's hit, missing the mark, and a lot of people miss that mark. They'll cry about police brutality when we should look about the shine. The shine <laughs> needs to stop killing the shine. You know what I'm saying? I got it. Okay? We don't have an issue with police officers. In fact, if you go into those inner cities and you go into those projects, they need more policing. So you're a fraud. You're sitting here saying, making it seem like you are, you're afraid of police officers. Are you afraid of your husband? You're more likely to be killed by your husband, way more likely to be killed by your husband than you are by a police officer. And you know that, right? You know that black men kill more white men. You know that police officers are killed by black men 18 and a half times more, right? So don't use your platform and 75 million people to make it seem like police officers are the issue. You're uneducated. I mean, that is just what it is. You are uneducated. And... I don't have a problem, by the way, with musicians and rappers and hip-hop artists dabbling in politics if they're sincere. What I mean by that is, are you talking to people on both sides? Are you trying to actually get a, an informed understanding? Or are you just being a mouthpiece for one party? Charlemagne the God has multiple people on his platform. He's talked to Republicans. He's friends with uh, Senator Tim Scott. Talks to him. He's a, a Trump supporter. He's had 
uh, vice presidential candidates, presidential candidates on his show, on The Breakfast Club. But he's a serious, he asks serious questions. He doesn't sit down with Joe Biden and say, oh, grr. in fact. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Candace is killing her now. Come on, Candace, let up. Let up, Candace. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> There was a couple bars Candace got off. So you can't let her get a roll, man. Start getting rolling. And once she start getting rolling, it's just, you can see why uh, uh, the powers that be promoted her. Um, I've said this multiple times. Um, you know, that Kanye tweet with that first pulling her on, like when he said, I like the way Candace Owens speaks. Do the man. Let's continue. Joe Biden wasn't comfortable when Charlemagne the God was sitting down and speaking to him because Charlemagne the God was asking so many difficult questions. He wasn't just giving him a Santa Claus list like you were. I want this. I want that. I want this. I want that. And none of it makes sense. If you're serious about politics, if you're serious about trying to use your platform for good, then you need to educate yourself. That's literally all anybody is saying to you is that you need to actually educate yourself and do the work. By the way, I'm not in your zone, you're in mine, okay? So I get tired of your commenters and your fans saying, oh, she's clout chasing. I'd be clout chasing if I was challenging you to a rap battle, I'm not doing that. You're in my area, you're in politics. You're embarrassed because you realize you know nothing about anything when you're on Twitter. You actually told a, a lie just now to all of your followers. You said, oh, Trump, uh, A, you said Trump told people to drink bleach, he never did that. Then you said Trump laughs when black men get shot by police officers. How do you just put out a lie like that? How, how do you consider yourself to be a serious person when you just outwardly lied to all of your followers? You know he's never laughed at a black man dying at police officer's hands. You know that for a fact. You can't pull a clip. Not even CNN, with all of their bullshit and lies, has ever claimed that Donald Trump laughs when black men die at police officers. But you told that lie in a tweet. Why did you tell that lie? Because you're a fraud. So I'm calling you out on being a political fraud. You pretend you want to help. You don't. You don't. You don't know why you're a Democrat. You have no idea why you hate Republicans. You have no idea why you're on the side of the party that enslaved black people, that segregated black people, and standing behind a man that supported segregation. Joe Biden supported segregation. He said it's what black people wanted. So let's just recap all of that. You're concerned about homophobia. For the eight years that Joe Biden was in office, him and- I think I think I've heard enough. I think I've heard enough. Candace pulled out a can of whoop ass on her. But it's still striking that, you know, she tried to get Cardi B on herself on her show. Um, yeah, everything Candace was saying was, was you know, right. Um, you know, some of the reasoning for it. Well, I say one thing. Um, I think we do have a police problem. I, I've said this before. We do have a kind of police problem in this country. Um there's way too much Hollywood. I always said it before that, you know, if you look on, um, it's even still today, it was, it was more so, you know, 10, 15 years ago, but there, like you watch entertainment television to see what, you know, what Hollywood's putting out for, you know, the major TV stations, all the dramas are just cop dramas. And that's been that way for a while. It's like this, this country has been, Raised, there's a couple generations raised on this. Um, when people are brainwashed, man, you know, it, it's way too much emphasis on policing in, in America. Uh, we should be working as a society to go the other way. Um, you know, when Candace said, you know, some of these, these inner cities and stuff, they need more, more police. No, we need to fix our culture so we need less police. You know what I'm saying? That's the key. But anyway, this is no. this is where we're at. Election season. He, we got Candace versus uh, Cardi. And this is like major news. You know, um, I have no doubt that, you know, Biden used Cardi to, to he don't even know who Cardi is. He was like, what? You know, he, he his his sur- like, But, you know, Joe Biden's a flunky. He is. He's just the face. You, do we think if, if Biden gets elected, he's going to be running the show? He can barely put his sentences together. 
This is going to be the uh, the last years of Reagan times 10. Come on now. Anyway, I'll be on later tonight, 8 ish. I'll talk to you later. Hotel's been told you on Thursday. Please donate, uh, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.